Hey, good morning. Travis Holzen with Food Force Abundance. And, uh, well, I was expecting to be on the road back to Minnesota already because uh, I'm driving back. But I drove down with Chad Johnson, our lead designer and uh, our master designer, we should say. And he's going to stay down here an extra day or two to make sure everything you know, cross every T and dot every I on this install. There's some things we had to do. We had time crunch because of the TV show. So now they're gonna put the finishing touches on it over the next today and tomorrow and then fly back on Saturday. I had to come and get all these tools and a lot of tools that we use here and that he can't bring on the plane. So I'm gonna drive him back. So I had to come back out to the house and now I am going to turn this around and you can see what it looks like with the sun coming up in the morning. It's absolutely beautiful. And I'll explain it as we go. I'm gonna turn you around right now. Here we go. Okay, we're starting here on this side. This is called a medicine wheel. I keep getting the name wrong. I was calling it a circle, a sphere, a spiral but it's a medicine wheel and this is not planted out yet there's gonna be so much more planted in here and a lot more design features into this so it's not complete yet and if you walk in you see a little bench little bench area over here and then there's a bench in the back corner where some uh, banana trees are going to go and that big stone uh, or that big boulder it's flat so you can use it as a bench and then across the front here this is basically just going to be a raised bed got everything growing out front here this is going to be planted out through actually we're going to go in this way and we're going to walk through to the vineyard look at that isn't that beautiful it's just making me emotional just uh, taking a look at this how beautiful it is and if you saw what was here before we started this the only thing left in here is the original fence this used to be an emu pen and then you see these tall the tall posts with the bar going across the top of it. There was another one, but we cut it down, a shorter one. But that's the only structure left. Everything else is now redone. But look at that. Six different kinds of grapes in here. And I guess up to 300 bottles of wine per year once this matures. And, I mean, just look at that. You got all your babies over here. Starters. All those starters in the middle. And then we got all these beautiful trees that we got from, uh, I believe it's called Water. Uh, I'll have to, I'll get the name and I will post the name of the nursery. We got, we purchased all these grape trees from beautiful beautiful nursery and they have the selection they have is amazing out there now we're walking out of the vineyard now we're coming into a food forest believe it or not there's about 150 trees that still have to go in the ground and it looks funny in here right now with the mount stuff mounted up but we had to do that and make it look complete for TV. So they're gonna finish up today. Look at that beautiful. Just imagine this little food forest in front of, right behind your house. And in about a year or two, after it's mature, it's gonna be full of food. You're gonna have so much food, you won't know what to do with. And like I said, this is only the beginning of this. This property is going to be completely 
grown out with food. Um, in the background there, you see all the white flags on the ground. That's all going to be food for us back there as well. But this is just a small one here, the beginning. And then now we're going to go to the cantina, which is their outdoor party spot. You got the fire pit. And we added some cactus and succulents. And I went back to that same nursery yesterday and I purchased all of these cactuses and you know these little tiny little cactuses just starting back here. The big ones in the back. And we got this guy here. And another little guys. And then what I think gave this the best little touch is if you can see this barn right here, this building, this structure right here, that's going to be rehabbed and fixed up to serve some purpose. Uh, see the skulls on there? The, the steer skulls? Well, there's one missing over there. And I took that off of there yesterday and I put it right there. Now if I step back, look at that. It makes it look like a true desert scene. Cantina in the middle of the desert. And look at all these beautiful little cactuses and succulents. And as this grows out, it's just going to be amazing. Then we got some Mexican plum trees that do well in this climate. And then look at the inside of this cantina. This is where they have their, they host parties and have fun here. But uh, this is what's possible. And uh, whether you have $100, or you have a hundred thousand dollars. You can make things happen in your backyard. And uh, food for us everywhere, people. I mean, that's what it's all about. We're trying to change the world here. When you take, there's 40 to 50 million acres of lawn in this country. And if we take 20 to 30% of those lawns and turn them into food producing, food forests and edible landscapes, we take back the power. We take back our freedom from this unsustainable food supply system that we have right now that is continuing to get worse and is going to continue to get worse and that's why this is so important that we start growing food now even if you just have to put it in little pots in your backyard or on your patio if you live in an apartment you can grow indoors you can grow on a patio it doesn't take a big space to grow a lot of food. I have seen small gardens that have amazing abundance of food in such a small space. And it's how you stack functions and you, the way nature intended. And, uh, well, there's a permaculture and growing food is simple but people make it complex. Uh, enough about that. I hope you liked what we accomplished here. We did this in three days time. We transformed this space. I uh, hope you can see it uh, into this amazing <laughs> Garden of Eden, if you want to call it that. 
in three days time and they are absolutely blown away with this and it's emotional to even talk about it because of what we accomplished here in a few days and to see it from where it started to where we are and how our team worked together we had people from all over the country fly in here and help us install this amazing amazing backyard but anyway food for us everywhere have an amazing day and I will be making some videos while I'm on the road I'm gonna be leaving to drive back to Minnesota here in about five minutes I just had to say bye to everybody and I'm on my way. See ya.